Hey guys, Jason Dude Guy here, and uh, I am here on Crack Pack, and not to re actually record any battles or whatever. This is just my own Crack Pack server, not uh, the real thing or anything. Uh, but I wanted to just go with something kind of basic that a lot of people don't understand. I find it basic, or at least if you got up to eighth grade, eighth grade physics, that's the American education system. If you've gone up to there, then you probably will understand this. At least if you actually paid attention to science. And this is not, this is not rocket science. So you shouldn't have any trouble with this. But I wanted to go over with how to get the armor jetpack and on top of that get fuel for it. So this is all for mechanism. So if we look on the side, it should be somewhere here. Uh, the regular jetpack. Here's a regular jetpack. Get out some steel, uh, control circuit, tin. A uh, gas tank, um, which is some iron dust, but you do have to have a pulverizer or a crusher for that. And I've got basic factory for all that. But um, and here I've just got um, oxygen. And this one's full, is it? No, these aren't full. Uh, so I keep dumping them. Uh, I have too much oxygen. <laughs> but uh, basically, um, here's my energy cube. Uh, my elite energy cube, and it's pumping power over to here. So once you do get the armor jetpack, you're going to need to fuel with hydrogen. Um, and so basically uh, the power goes into this electric pump, and that pumps for these mechanical pipes into an electrolytic separator, which is, um, well, first off, uh, the pump you make uh, with some steel casing, some rich alloy. Rich alloy you get in the middle, in the middle electric confuser, with some redstone in there, you don't have to put a block or compress that. Um, compressor with them. That's for later, and then some iron, and that does each require power. But you know these metallurgic confusers uh, aren't too hard to make. Just some um, iron, some osmium, which is really common, a, a new, a really common ore. Some redstone and two furnaces. So that's not hard to make, and I've got for you them for different things for making steel here, um, and for making rich alloy over here. And compressed redstone, there's a few things about that you can probably find out just from no, I'm trying it out. It does the same thing as regular redstone. But um, uh, basically, um, it goes into he this, which r this uh, electric se electrolytic separator uh, made uh, like this. Um, and then, uh, like the, the, this part is made like that. But once I make it, um, but uh, I am on with someone else right now. You know, team, but uh, that basically takes in water and separates into into oxygen and hydrogen. You know, H two O water, yeah. Uh, but it separates into that. You can take it out these pressurized tubes. Oxygen on this side of the red tank, and the blue tank or whatever that thing is right there comes over here, and that's this is all hydrogen. Um, and you can just put it into a tank like here. And since mine is missing a little bit, I will uh, chart re um, redo it. Uh, like that, and it'll, you can just see the stored hydrogen filling up, and it'll t it's taking it out of the gas tank. Uh, but the gas tank will just refill because this thing is always running. Um, and uh, you do get twice as much hydrogen, obviously, because water is H2O, so that's two hydrogen and one oxygen. Um, the oxygen over here I use for purification chamber, which goes into all this stuff about um, double or tripling ore, which I'm working on getting something else for. Uh, quadrupling oil production, but uh, I since I al always have extra hydrogen because this is once this gets refilled, the hydrogen isn't going anywhere except for staying in here, which is pre preventing more oxygen from being made. Um, so basically, uh, that goes into this hydrogen generator, which takes in the hydrogen and makes it into power. Now, since this is still trying to get back all the hydrogen, uh, this will be kind of flashing on and off, but uh, once this um, this gets um, uh, pure hydrogen and not just a little bit at a time, it will run co consistently with an output of 240 RF per tick, um, and you can just pump that back into an elite energy cube. So you could actually just um, put this in its own loop, just give it a bit of jump uh, jump start, start if you know what I mean, uh, and basically this hydrogen generator would run the whole thing. Um, it won't keep the whole thing powered. Um, it should, uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I know a lot of people have trouble with this, um, 
but uh, I might as well do it. Now, I'm personally, I'm getting power. I, was, I used to have an advanced floor array here, but I'm about to use four of them for something else. Uh, but I'm, I've pretty much got 13 wind turbines, and that's... Then I've also got a heat generator down here, which basically you surround that with... Um, you surround a uh, heat generator, it's simple to make. Uh, you surround it with um, with lava or fire. I'm pretty sure you, don't, you can only use lava. Um, and it doesn't actually use up the lava, but um, it generates power off that from having heat around it. Um, and it's just my little robot. But, uh, yeah, Mechanism is a really cool mod, and I thought I would at least go over that part because that seems like a really realistic part of it. So, and a lot of people have trouble with it. But as you can see, this is full again, so this is consistently, so that the, the age is saying which hydrogen it has in it, so if I temporarily detach the cabling here, it'll start to, well first off it'll build up RF, because we have thermal expansion in here, uh, but then it'll start to build up hydrogen, which I'm not sure if they're not measuring it by amount of atoms or what, but I'm pretty sure, um, I, I, or I don't really ma mind what it is that much, I mean it's, Kind of simplistic once you get all all these machines. I mean, uh, the pressurized tubes. Uh, pretty sure they're down here. Yeah, you need some steel and some glass for eight of those, and then the universal cable. You just need some steel and redstone. So, and steel you just get by putting. Uh, I'll show you here. If I put one iron in here, so uh, you can put coal in to get carbon in here. You put coal in the blue space where that compressed carbon is. So the iron is made into enriched iron, and then. Uh, you know, you get put that in with more carbon, and that gets uh, you one steel dust, which you can just smelt up. So, yeah. Uh, it's kind of simplistic once you um, know what you're doing. Uh, and, yeah, so I might as well just go over that. Uh, thanks for watching, and bye.